We got Sunday afternoon basketball on Super Bowl Sunday. Hawks versus Celtics. Celtics are on a seven game winning streak. Looking for eight today. All right, Celtics about to come out. Could be a good one today, guys. What is going on, you guys? It is Jesse Almeida here on YouTube and on Beantown Takes for today's matinee matchup on Su Super Bowl Sunday between the Atlanta Hawks and the Boston Celtics. The trade deadline recently passed. The Celtics got Derek White recently and got rid of Josh, Josh Richardson. I think it was a decent move. And then the Celtics got Daniel Tice back. Daniel Tice is making his debut today on the Celtics. Celtics have trouble against the Hawks, but they are on a seven game winning streak right now. Let's make it eight today. Hawks just came out. Where is, there he is. I think that's right there, right? That is freaking Trey Young. The future of Steph Curry. He's not gonna be as good as Steph Curry, but he shoots the lights out just like Steph Curry. Here comes the Celtics. Virginia number 12, DeAndre Hunter. 
and from Oklahoma, number 11, Gray Young. The head coach of the Hawks is Dave McMillan. Disgusting. Are you kidding? Here we go. No.
took his layup. No way. Alright, good defense. Either two or three. We'll take anything right now. We'll take that. Hey, plans to follow with some of the trial of DeAndre Hunter. That's his full personal. Nice. Nice. We'll take that. Now they got to play small. All right, plans to number 32 from the ball. Now they're losing back into the game. He's playing for DeAndre Hunter.
got to be a little bit better at least. Brown, you can't, the way you've been shooting, you can't be taking shots that early in the shot clock. Splits the defense behind the back. Fires a three. Oh, he puts it in. Mismatch. Reset. Reset.
Good pass. Nice! Much, much better second quarter and a third quarter so far.
Primo Zeldick. Back him up, back him up. Double team, come on, Tatum. Celtic fans, you should be grateful that you have Robert Williams. That guy's going to be good in this league for a long time. Four hundred. Ooh. Point game. Pretty much three possessions. That was that was an offensive foul, but all right. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think so. Game time. They got a foul, right? You would think. Is that game? Eight point game. That's game. Nice. Celtics win. Let's go. Tatum's going to end with 35 plus. What a game. Since the third quarter, what a game from the Celtics. And that's the ball game. The Celtics win. Played well. They played a good game. Since the second quarter, I will say. Started slow, but they played well. All right, you guys. That is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. Leave a like down below if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe right now if you are new. You already know what to do. This video here was supposed to go very differently than it did. I know it is a normal Celtics vlog or whatever, but 
the original plans for this video was supposed to be completely different. Now, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, which you guys should, my Instagram is in the description down below. I give out updates on what's going on and what is come to come in future videos or whatever, so you guys will be the first to know what's to come on the website and on the channel if you guys go follow me on Instagram or if you even go follow Bean Town Takes the website Instagram you, if you follow one of those two then you will know exactly what's going on or whatever the original plan for today's video was that I was supposed to go meet Paul Pierce that was supposed to happen a week ago okay I was supposed to go meet Paul Pierce a week ago in Braintree. I was going to save the clips to that and put it in today's video. I was going to ask Pierce one question just like I did with Alex Verdugo. If you guys remember the Alex Verdugo video, that's what today's video was supposed to be except for the legendary Paul Pierce, the truth. That was supposed to be today's video. It was supposed to be me meeting Paul Pierce. And then going to see the Hawks play the Celtics. That was the original video. But some things changed. If you guys don't know, I mean, you guys, I think, met him once on this channel. It was either once or like twice. I don't know. But I had a dog named Fenway. He was a big, fat beagle. I'd say about 70 pounds, but the most lovable creature in the world. He passed away last week. Unexpectedly. That's gonna do it for the end of the video. That's gonna be our fir- Excuse me? Oh, okay then, Fenway. Alright then, he just made it into the video. What do you give me that look for? Huh? You think you're funny? You think you're cool? He is cool. He is cool. Leave a like down below for this insane video, guys. Subscribe right now if you're new. See, now he's gonna get into my shot, too. Look at him. Oh my god. You just want all of the attention, don't you? Huh? Huh? Anyways, you guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Our very first Celtics vlog in, I wanna say, three years on the channel, at least. Thank you. Thank you for giving me my space. I appreciate it. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but gotta make that little reminder. Go subscribe. Go like. And what are you doing, buddy? This is my dog, Fenway, here. I'm gonna introduce you guys to him. Say, say what's up, Fenway. Yes, you're in the video. Yes, hi. Um, we ended up with a loss this game. However, I feel pretty good about this video. I but anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jesse. And it's been Fenway, and we're gone. Later, guys. And because of that, because of those circumstances, I delay. I did not go see Paul Pierce. It also backed me up on some articles that I was going to do. Like, I was going to do a prediction for what the Celtics should do with the trade deadline. I was going to do one for the Bruins midway in the season because last week was the All-Star break. I was supposed to do a few articles last week, and I I just took a step back. I just took a step back for a little bit because Fenway was like a little brother to me. He was always there by my side when I needed somebody to comfort me. I all he was always giving me love. He was the most lovable creature in the world. I love him to death. I love him dearly. I miss him very very much. I'm about to cry on camera but that's just how emotions are and that's that's just that and because of those unexpected events i canceled a bunch of stuff that was supposed to go out including me going to meet paul pierce having to ask a question that you guys wanted me to ask like just like the alex verdugo video i was supposed to do that an alex verdugo version of Paul Pierce for this video and because of because of Fenway passing away that did not happen so I hope you guys are just content with bring, me bringing out the uh, game for you guys it was a great game it was a great game 
I don't get me wrong. I'm very glad that the Celtics won at least because if the Celtics lost and I did not meet Paul Pierce in the process, this would have been a disaster of a video in my opinion. I mean, it, it would have been from up here to down here real quick if the Celtics did not play well. Jason Tatum played very well in this game. If it wasn't for Jason Tatum, I really don't think we win this game. Tatum had 38 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists. He had a couple huge 3-pointers in this game as well. Robert Williams played well also with 10 points and 14 rebounds. Jalen Brown played horrible in the first half, but played decent in the second half. Enough for the Celtics to pull out a victory in this one. Marcus Smart at 13, and the newly acquired Derek White had 14 points, 5 assists, and 4 rebounds. I already I already love this guy, Derek White. I know he was a good basketball player down in San Antonio. I shouldn't say great, but I can tell, based off of watching him today in person, he knows how to play the game of basketball. He attacks the rim. When he's open, he takes the shot. When he's attacking the rim, he sometimes looks out for his shooters. He's a playmaker. He's a great defender. He he does it all. He does it all. And that's what the Celtics really need. And it sucks that we had to give up Josh Richardson, who was shooting well from the three-point line for us. It does suck. But I really think having a more consistent player like Derek White is going to help this team out in the long run than Josh Richardson, I should say, who was inconsistent sometimes. Sometimes we wouldn't get anything out of Josh Richardson. Sometimes we would get like two points maybe from him, and sometimes we would get maybe 15 points off the bench from him. He was inconsistent, but I can tell Derek White is a very consistent player. And that's going to be huge for the Celtics in the long run. And honestly, right now, based off of what I saw today, the Hawks, don't give me, ignore the record. Ignore the record. The Hawks on paper are a good team. They're a good team. They didn't have John Collins today, but regardless, on paper, they're good. They're actually a good team. I think you're a number five or a number four seed, guys. I think you're right there in the middle of the pack. Because right now, the East is wide open. You are right now the sixth seed. Which means you do not have to play in that stupid playing tournament. You get a couple extra days rest. And you are automatically in the playoffs. That's huge. That is huge for the Celtics because that shows... To Celtics fans, that you are at least competing and you are actually playing at a high level. And when you're in that like top five, top four, whatever, I think anything can happen. And the right matchups, you could make a run. You could really make a run this season. And if you keep playing like this, especially, if you keep playing like this in your eight game winning streak, no team can compete against you. No one. I would say maybe the Bucks and Miami. Those three teams. That's really it, though. I think Philly just sold their season, giving up uh, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond. I mean, yeah, Ben Simmons wasn't playing, but, like, I don't know. They are a small team now outside of Joel Embiid where you're going to out-rebound them and out-defend them. I think... You can take them. I really do. I really think the Celtics can take them. Brooklyn? I don't know. I'd have to see how they click first before I say anything. Ben Simmons does fit their play scheme because they already have a lot of scorers. And now they get Seth Curry, who's a lights-out three-point shooter. He doesn't really need to shoot. So he kind of fits that scheme. Drummond makes them a hell of a lot better at rebounding the ball and at and on defense. So that helps them there too. But outside of the box, Sixers, Heat, and if you want to say Brooklyn, fine. 
I, I think you're right in it. I really think you're in it. You just got to keep winning. And we play Philly this Tuesday night coming up too. So we'll really see what the Celtics have for them in the future. So, once again, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'm sorry that it did not go to me, Paul, because I hope you guys understand. I am coming off a break. So, grinding away, grinding away. I'm going to have a post-trade deadline article coming soon. I'm going to have a couple of good articles for the Celtics coming soon. Because I have to actually have some a lot of things good to say about them rather than ripping on them like we did the last couple of seasons. And the Bruins. I don't know. I don't know what happened to you guys. I really don't know what happened. Tuka Rask article coming, I feel like. And I think it's time to just rip on the Bruins too. And this is not me saying that there's no more Bruins videos for this season. I'm just simply saying they've underachieved in my brain, at least. They've really underachieved. I get it. They, there's a lot of good teams in the Eastern Con in the Eastern Conference for them, but they're better. They, they should be better than some most of these teams that they're playing. And honestly, the teams that they should be beating, like they should be crushing, like Arizona, Ottawa, they're like neck and neck games. And when I see that, that, that to me, that just says they're not going to do anything this season. So, the Celtics are the move right now. The Celtics are the move right now. I can't believe I'm saying that, but like the Celtics are the wave right now. I will be going to another game maybe next month. We'll see what happens. Maybe the Nets. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm 3-0 right now in the season for the Celtics, so I can't afford a loss, actually, for them if it happens. So, we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, and please go check out our website. The link is in the description down below. If you want to donate to us to go to more events, our Venmo account is in the description as well. Anything helps us. We appreciate all the love and support. Thank you guys for watching. Rest in peace to my buddy Fenway. You, you may be gone, but you will never be forgotten. I love you dearly. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Jesse, and I'm gone. Later, guys.